Number 52. A 55 kilogram woman has 7.5 times 10 to negative 3 moles of hemoglobin, which has a molar mass of 64,456 grams per mole in her blood. How many hemoglobin molecules is this? And then what is this quantity in grams? All right, so it looks like we have two questions here. They want us to go from 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of hemoglobin. I'm just going to put HB, hemoglobin. And they want us to find out how many molecules of hemoglobin this is. So that would be the first question. And then they want us to take the same number, 7.5 times 10 to the negative third molecules of hemoglobin. And they want to find out how many grams of hemoglobin this is. Okay, so essentially there's two questions here. So I'm just going to list this as question number one, going from moles of hemoglobin to um, molecules of hemoglobin. And then I'll split this down the middle. And then the second one is going from moles of hemoglobin to grams of hemoglobin. OK. So for the first one, can I go from moles of hemoglobin to molecules of hemoglobin in one shot? The answer is yes. What's the information that we know between molecules and moles, or moles and molecules? Star this, box this off, I don't care what you do, but this is super important. One mole of anything equals Avogadro's number in molecules, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of that same thing. And I represent X as anything, whether it's an element or compound. So we're going to use this conversion factor. One mole of anything equals Avogadro's number, Avogadro's number, to get from moles to molecules. So let's try this one out. They tell us that we have 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of hemoglobin, Hb. I don't know why I said HB. Maybe I should have said HG, but who cares? So moles of HB goes on the bottom, moles of hemoglobin, and molecules of HB goes up on top. Well, what are the numbers that go in these two parts of the ratio? Well, we know that one mole of anything, so it should be one mole, equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of that same thing. So this should be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of hemoglobin. Moles of hemoglobin cancels out, and you get your answer. 7.5 times 10 to the negative third times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd is a huge number, but we got to make sure that we keep it two sig figs. If you need help with your sig figs, go back to chapter 1. We have tons of problems there. But this is just 4.5 times 10 to the 21st molecules of hemoglobin. So this is the first part to the, to the answer. This is how many molecules it would be. Now let's move on to the second part. Now they want us to go from moles of the hemoglobin to grams of the hemoglobin. Do I know a conversion factor between moles to grams? The answer is yes. Box this one off. I don't care what you do. Highlight it, you know. Um, but this is super important as well. One mole of anything equals the molar mass of that same thing, right? Molar mass units is grams per mole. So that's how you get the grams, all right? So... Where are we going to find a molar mass? From the periodic table. So that's how you go from moles to grams. You use the molar mass. So let's start with what we're given. 7.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of hemoglobin times by a ratio mole of hemoglobin on the bottom, gram of hemoglobin up top, and what are the numbers between these two parts of the ratio? Well, one mole 
So obviously we have to put one mole here. And now where's this, right? We can't use the periodic table because we don't know what the components of hemoglobin are. But if you look back into the question, they said that the molar mass was 64 1,456. So that's the number that goes here. 64,456 moles of hemoglobin cancels out. And now you just times the two together. So 7.5 times 10 to the three, negative 3 times 64,456. And we need two sig figs. So this will come out to be 4.8 times 10 to the second grams of hemoglobin. Box that answer off. That's the answer to the second part. So this was the answer to how many molecules there were of hemoglobin. This was the answer to how many grams of hemoglobin there were. And that checks off the whole 52 problem. Guys, thank you for coming here to get help with your OpenStax chemistry, uh, you know, Adam's first textbook. I really do appreciate all of you guys. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. It helps other students, you know, get this type of information on their feed. And it also, you know, tells you when the next batch of questions that we have for you ready, right? Thank you so much. If this helped you, tell us in the comments. I'll respond back, I promise. Love talking to you guys. And I'll see you guys in number 53. Have an awesome day.